Welcome back. I am Captain Xavier, and the time has come to reveal the truth, to uncover a secret, to answer a question that many of you have asked only to receive snark in reply. What are the triggers on the foregrip of my FDL-3 really for? Well... <laughs> No, yes, that's right. They control a rail-mounted, proton-pack-fed, out-of-darts Jupiter. Oh, yes. Yes, this is the secret of my HVZ Heavy Infantry Primary, because it is a fully functioning, semi-automatic FDL with a rail-mounted proton pack. <laughs> As this has probably created more questions than it's answered, let's go talk about it. And then there'll be a lot more firing. <laughs> and there it is. And quite frankly, the sheer absurdity of it should surprise no one. When I revealed that the sidearms for this loadout were going to be a pair of pew pews, it should have been obvious that the primary was going to be something pretty ridiculous. So here it is. An FDL-3 with a rail-mounted proton pack fed out of darts Jupiter. And I love it. Let's break it down. Take a look at the components. We'll look at the FDL first. This, of course, just pops off there. So the FDL is really a very straightforward standard FDL-3. It does have the rifleman kit on it from Thingiverse. That is what gave me enough rail in order to attach the grip up front. It does have some side rail added here, of course, to attach the uh, the Jupiter. But other than that, it's a semi-automatic FDL. I, I didn't intend to get the semi-automatic. I didn't even know there was a semi-automatic. I just failed to check the little box to say, give me the fancy one when I ordered it. But in hindsight, I am glad it's semi automatic because I do prefer a semi-automatic blaster for my HVZ primary because it helps prevent you from wasting too much ammunition. It's much easier to have fire control when you're not putting out two or three darts per trigger pull. Uh, if I want to go full auto and spam a bunch of zombies, well, <laughs> that's what this is for. So, happy about that. Now, I did get the large magazine well version, so it will take the 40 round worker mags. find they don't fire as smooth. They're, they're, they feel a little bit sticky, and I don't like that. They're, so they're also a little bit more prone to, to jams and malfunctions with less than brand new darts. So I don't plan to run it with these. I plan to put the uh, Magwell scales in, the adapters, and run it with Worker 22s. runs much smoother and I think you can actually get more, slightly more ammo uh, in your storage because two of these take up about the same room as one of these and uh, have four more darts. So. Plus I have a lot more of these than those so that's what I will be running. Now I did also discover that it is technically possible for this to run half darts. doesn't do it very well. Um, the, the pusher isn't actually long enough to push them into the flywheel. You have to snap the trigger. And this does have a very 
snappy trigger, but you gotta snap the trigger to kind of drive them into the flywheels and it doesn't always work. So that you saw that in the video. Uh, so I definitely wouldn't ever want to run that for HVZ because of reliability issues. But if I were running a Nerf War and really only wanted to run half darts, it, it would probably work fairly well, but it still wouldn't be my first choice. That's what we've got for the FDL. Let's take a look at the fun one. So let's talk about this modular Jupiter thing. It actually wasn't my idea to take the handle off of this. TSA did me that courtesy on my way back from Minnesota. Broke the handle off in transit and it just kind of sat in a box for a couple of years until I got this bright idea, very much based on uh, a prototype that Out of Darts is working on for a rail mounted proton pack system. This is what I was able to, to come up with. I did get to play with the prototype a little bit. Don't ask me about it. I have nothing to say. Uh, but what I came up with was a way to make my broken uh, Jupiter modular. So I extended the wires so that I had a little bit more, uh, you know, the grip could, could be a little bit further away. And then I added some strategic reverse rail to the top of the grip and to the side of the blaster. And that's what allows me to just rail attach it. Simply slot it onto the, the rail there, slot it onto the rail here, and voila! rail mounted proton pack controlled by the foregrip. Really quite fantastic. But if I don't want to run it on um, on the side of a blaster, I then added some rail here on the bottom, which allows me to simply put the grip there. And now I can fire it just as a perfectly ordinary proton pack fed Jupiter. Alternatively, because this is all just sockets in normally, I can just put a regular LiPo in here and fire it fed from a magazine. And since I'm sure somebody is going to point this out, yes, that does mean that I can attach it to the side of the blaster and feed it from a magazine. So that, that is the secret of my modular Jupiter. It's really quite fabulous. The, the backpack is now a, a proper production model of the, the Proton Pack. I, I was given this to, to test and review and it is absolutely magnificent. magnificent. It is so much better than the prototypes that I've been building my packs out of for the last couple of years. I, I absolutely plan to upgrade um, m most of my other packs to use one of these. I'll, I will throw shell out the money for a, for a couple more. So, uh, the, the one that absolutely needs to be upgraded is Tier and the Smart Gun. Both absolutely need this system, though um, I may have to make a few slight alterations. We will see. Um, but it's absolutely magnificent with the, the brushless fan that's in there and the, the new agitator and the, the, all the hose connectors that come with it. I did get the, inf the full gambit of hose connectors for all the various blasters. And uh, the fact that it uses current sensing and, and has adjustable rate and, and speed and, and all of that is just absolutely fantastic. I would like to, to put together, possibly custom make, a slightly larger tank because this backpack has just a little bit more room and I'd like to, to potentially use it all. Alternatively, I could put spare magazines or something in there. Um, it, this will hold up cut like 400 or so odd rounds and I'd, I'd love to get that a little bit higher. I could probably double it with the, the space that's in this backpack, but we will see what I come up with for that. But that, that is the secret. For those of you that have been wondering what the, the triggers were on the foregrip of my FDL, now you know. And for those of you who did figure it out, good on you, well spotted. It really wasn't that big of a secret. I think Out of Darts actually uh, spilled the beans on a live stream at some point. Um, really, really pleased with how it came out. It, it all matches. It, it works beautifully. It's very functional, very, very robust. I have had absolutely no issues with either of these blasters and all of the testing that I've done with them. So there it is. Hope this uh, gives many of you 
similar ideas of how to improve your loadout and make things more modular, and I look forward to, to seeing it all. And, uh, well, I know you're all really here for the, uh, for the firing footage, so uh, here's me doing an entire loadout dump at Fort Columbia. This is, in fact, with that prototype that I mentioned. Enjoy, and thank you for watching. Shut up. I swear that never happens.